Hello coffee friends, I am Tom from Tom's Coffee Corner. And today, in preparation for the nine bar mod on the DeLonghi Dedica, we're going to talk about this, a pressure gauge for your portafilter. Because we need a way to quantify how much pressure the machine comes with out of the box versus how much pressure does the machine have after it's been used for a while? So what is its current state? And finally, after we do the modification, we need to quantify how much pressure does the machine now have? So in part one of this video, we're going to take a look at how to build a manometer. Then we are going to check the pressure on a newer machine like this one here that has had its OVP actually replaced and versus a machine that's been used for a while. And in an upcoming video, we are going to see if we can find a spring to put in the OVP and see if we can come close to nine bars of pressure. So let's take a look at how to put together this portafilter pressure gauge manometer. So after we've drilled our hole here in our pressurized basket, I deburred it and I sanded it down a little bit to give it a nice smooth edge on both sides. Finally, I went to the hardware store and I organized this reducer. This is the half inch to 3 8 inch reducer that fits just right through there. Then I got this elbow here, a 3 8 to 3 8 inch elbow, and I got two fabric washers. The reason I got these in fabric is because the rubber ones, when you apply too much pressure to the nut on top of them, they do kind of just squish out. And this manometer I have had for a while now. I can attach it to the Gaja, I can now attach it to the Dedica, and that is mm -mm good. All right, so it's pretty simple. Let's just put a fabric washer here on the reducer. We will stick it through the hole, like so. And then we need a fabric washer on the other side, and we're gonna screw it together. Need to make this quite tight in order for it to withstand the pressure. Luckily, these fabric washers do really oh, dig in and give a nice bite. And if you need to, you can uh, tighten it up with a, a wrench. Okay, so that can just get plopped into the porta filter like that. And the gauge can get screwed on and we're good to go. So, just like that. I'd like to say thanks a lot to Check What's Left for the idea of how to make this manometer out of a pressurized filter. So, with just these few parts, we can actually check the pressure on the DeLonghi Dedica, which we will see coming up next. Take this video as entertainment purposes only. I'm not responsible for your machine or for your health. So take caution if you do this. All right, so as you've seen in a previous video, I did change the OVP on the white DeLonghi. This is an EC685 and it wasn't working properly. So this has a brand new OVP in there. Let's see what kind of pressure we get. Okay, it looks like that, based on my perspective, tops out at 11 bars. Now, as you know, with this DeLonghi machine, there's nowhere for the pressure to go. So, if you try this at home and 
Take this video as entertainment purposes only. I'm not responsible for your machine or for your health. So take caution if you do this, but you see it's still under a lot of pressure. It's still got 10 bars and that takes a very long time to eventually dissipate. Now, if we had a filter in here instead of this pressure gauge, then eventually the pressure would be released through the filter, but that's not the case. So in order to release the pressure so that this doesn't kind of blow out, I'm just going to unscrew my gauge. Okay, now we're down to zero bar. And now we can take it out. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and try it on this guy. I've had this machine, I believe, for around five years. You know, machines do lose pressure over time. So let's see where we're at. Maybe we're not at 11 bars. Maybe we're at nine. Maybe we're at six bars. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Okay, seven bars. It tops out at seven bars on this machine. So this one actually is already under the nine bars that people would be looking to achieve. And it's much lower than the 11 bars that this machine has right now. And it's much lower than the advertised 15 bars of pressure that the machine is supposed to come with. All right, here we go. I'm going to choose 14 grams in, exactly 14 grams, and aim for 28 grams out. This is the 11 bar extraction. And I'm gonna stop it just as it hits 28 grams, which is right now. And that was about a 20 second extraction. Now I don't have the extremely fancy spoons that James Hoffman does. <laughs> In fact, this is a baby spoon, uh, but it will work just as well. And let's give this a taste. I think that's pretty darn good. It's a nice extraction. It's not sour and it's not bitter. It's a little bit nutty. This blend has a good amount of robusta to it. So it's it's got some flavors of uh, nuts and chocolate. Okay, here we go with the second trial. Again, 14 grams exactly. The grounds come out so uniform and declunked from the Spezialita that I don't bother with WTT. I just try to get it nice and level. Give it a nice tamp. Everything the same as before, same dosage, same grind setting. But this one is at seven bars. As we saw, let's see if this one takes longer and how the taste is. And I'm going to stop this one at 28 as well, which is right then. That one also took 20, between 20 and 21 seconds. Let's give this one a nice stir. This one on the right is the seven bar extraction. Honestly, that seven bar extraction tastes to me a little more acidic than the 11 bar. It's definitely more acidic. But to me, just with this one trial, I did actually prefer the taste of the 11 bar. It seems to be a bit more well-rounded, not bitter and not sour with the taste of nuts and chocolate coming out. Um, with the seven bar, it did seem to be a little bit more acidic than what I would like. So take that for what you will. All right, guys, so those are the results of my test. Let me know what you think down in the comment section down below.
All right, so what did we learn today? We learned that actually the pressure can be quite different versus what's stated on the box. So it doesn't actually come with 15 bars of pressure. It's closer to 11 bars. And after you use the machine for a while, it may even go down all the way to seven bars. So it's very good and important to be able to quantify the pressure before moving forwards with your modification. In the next upcoming video with the DeLonghi Dedica, I'm going to take a look and see if I can find a couple of different springs that will get us close to nine bars. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if so, give me a like. And otherwise, check out the other videos on my channel. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. Until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.